we want to try and append files in Excel. What do I mean? Look at this file here now. We have country, sales, and revenue, and this is for January. Let us now assume that you get this file on a monthly basis, and they are of the same structure. You have country, sales, and revenue for January, for February, for March, for all the months, and you already have like three months, and you want to append them. You want to add the data together in one single file. Maybe you even create re uh, reports from the files. So how do you bring these files together? That is part A of our work. The part B is now uh, about adding other new files to it. So we have three months here. You've added the three months. At the end of April, you've gotten another file. How do you add it to the previously added files? So let me open a new Excel file and we quickly demonstrate that. So we go to data and from data we want to get our files in from file and this time around we want to say from a folder meaning all the files that we want to append we will have put all of them in one folder so i want to select the folder so i know where the folder is on my pc you will now go ahead and choose that folder okay so the folder is on my desktop and then the name of the folder is monthly reports. So I have the three months here. So I've selected, I'll select um, monthly reports and then open. It will take me to uh, my power query where I can uh, clean the data and do whatever I like to it. So here it is telling me that there are three files that I've selected that are in that folder at the moment. So let me click on transform data. I want it to get to Power Query where I can claim the data, remove unwanted columns and all that. So right here, we are in Power Query. This is the content. So if I click on this double arrow here to confirm whether I have the right set of files. So content will give me an insight into at least one of the files that I've added. So I can just check one. Oh, it's okay. So let me click on OK now. Look at what is going to happen. It will have added up the contents of all the three files together. So it will show us now. Yes, it's loading up. Look at it now. It's saying in February, we have three rows there. And we have the country, the sales, and revenue. For January, look at the number of rows. For March, we have everything here. So we can say we are cool. Let us take everything back to Excel. So by clicking on this, it will take me back to Excel and it has loaded up the files here. Look at our Excel here. So we have February, uh, we have uh, January, and we have March. So this is the interesting part. So at the end of April, you receive the April uh, file as well. And you want to add that to what you already have here. Maybe you normally create pivot table, you know, from the data that you have. So what do you need to do? I'll go back into that folder. This is our April file. I'll copy it. Let's say you've downloaded that maybe from the web app or from the database. So we have that of April. I will just go inside a folder that I brought into my Excel and paste the new months there. I've done this. I don't need to do anything again other than just come here and refresh. So I've clicked on refresh. Let me now show you the data. We now have that of April. The content in April is here. The February is still there. January is still there. March is still there. So for May, you just put it in the same folder and you refresh. So that way you have the updated data every now and then. And if you're creating pivot table, you're creating charts, you can refresh as well to give you the most recent uh, data sets.